Morning folks from uh, Angela City, um, JR with Channel 13. Uh, I just want to put out a short video today. I uh, took a trip up to Kapas Tarlac. I might be mispronouncing that city. Uh, spelled C-A-P-A-S. Uh, visited a memorial to the Bataan Death March. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Bataan Death March, uh, it occurred during World War II. And basically it was uh, Japanese soldiers forcing prisoners of war, uh, mainly American and Filipino, uh, mostly Filipino, and some Filipino civilians, to march from um, Bataan. I, I believe the camp was in uh, Maravellas, and uh, they marched 60 to 70 miles up to Camp O'Donnell, which is in Kapas Tarlac. Uh, along the way, they were ma marching in uh, horrible conditions, uh, lack of water, lack of food, and uh, obviously the Philippines is uh, brutally hot, and so there was a lot of deaths. Uh, estimates are uh, 600, 650 Americans died during the during the march, and like 15, anywhere from the estimates are like 5,000 to 15,000 uh, Filipinos, uh, both uh, military and civilian. So there's many uh, memorials and uh, markers that show the Bataan Death March. Um, and so I plan on doing a future video, visit some of the World War, more World War II sites. Uh, but I just want to put this one out, short video of this uh, memorial. It's a pretty nice memorial and it's uh, decently maintained. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, look forward to uh, more content here in the future. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. up here close to uh, Kapas, Pampanga, which is uh, before Tarlac, and uh, got this memorial for the uh, Bataan Death March, memorial to the U.S. and Philippine soldiers and Allied soldiers that did the Death March during World War II. You're familiar with those.
this is the back side of the uh, memorial and I guess it's a swimming pool back here a little weird so here's the back side some more uh, depictions of some soldiers pretty accurate depiction there of a Japanese soldier putting his bayonet in the back of a allied soldier but uh yeah this Obviously, I don't know when water was in here the last time. Obviously with COVID, all swimming pools pretty much are closed on public places. But it's just kind of weird having a swimming pool in the back of a memorial. This place Looks like it used a little love, a little landscaping. It's definitely not maintained like the, uh, the Veterans Cemetery on Clark. You see here is a little uh, playground for kids. Of course at the playground you got Mr. Rooster. What's up buddy? <laughs> Mr. Rooster don't like me. It's a pretty nice rooster. Black and white with the gold. Got little picnic tables out here. These are the older ones, you can tell. They got these new, newer ones. These are the new style that you see for sale on the side of the road. But yeah, it's a nice memorial. Could use a little love. Looks like you could use a paint job on the arch. But this part in here, the plants and stuff, and this grass seems to be maintained decently.